Hey there, thanks for joining me for Jay's Beer Reviews. Uh, and so in this episode, I'm going to actually pour and sample this sweet beer that I got from Short Fuse Brewing in Schiller Park, Illinois. I was really excited about this one because, like I said, I, I, I grew up around Schiller Park. I, actually, River Grove is like where I, was, where I lived, um, but it's a tiny town. So um, Rosemont, if you guys you know, are familiar with the area, like Rosemont's right next door. Like I said, my wife went to the brewery. She brought me back something to try. And so I gave you guys in the last episode uh, information about American rye beers. And now when I go to their website, oof, I almost broke my glass. When I go to their website, it's got some information. It says dark amber in color with a little spice, fruity estuary aromas, aromatic. It's a typo. Aromatic toffee-like, caramel, or biscuit-like characters. Hop aroma is low. Made with 32% malted rye. And 32 is, is probably actually a good number. Um, you can go... I mean, you can do 100% rye, I think. Um, probably. Uh, I know I've made beers with, like, 50% rye. But as, you know, as, as it goes for, like, just American rye-style beer, 32%. I mean, you can do probably 10 15% and still call it American rye. Um, so I'm going uh, to go ahead and uh, pour this beer, give you guys a little rundown. Um, it's 6.5% alcohol, 36 IBUs. So well, let's try it. Let's try it out. I'll pour it for you guys here. Do a little, little ASMR. No, because you need two microphones for that, right? All right. So there we go. Um, it's a pretty handsome looking pint. I think uh, it was carbonated very well. It had, you know, I didn't stir it up or anything. It's got just some nice, uh, nice headspace on there. It definitely looked a little like viscous when I poured it out. Um, which again, I, I do contribute with the rye. It usually gives a little bit of like a, a little bit more of a chewy kind of character to it. A little bit more viscosity to the beer. Head looks nice, kind of like khaki, a little off white there. The beer is quite cloudy. Yeah, it's 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 very cloudy. Um, and just like it's it's opaque, like you you can't see through it. But you know, it's 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 a good looking beer. Uh, so let's give it a sniff. Mm, I like that. It's got like some kind of like just sweet notes to it. Um, I get. I will definitely say I get like some kind of um, like toffee. Um, I also get like some nice kind of noble hop character. It definitely smells like a good combination of like a kind of like richer malt to uh, 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 just just a bit of hopping. You know, it's it's nothing crazy. Kind of smells like a nice uh, nice English bitter. I'll I'll go that far. Maybe not as like sharp in character, or at least on the nose. So uh, let's 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 give it a sip and find out. It's actually really good. Um, like, I'm surprised. Um, I do... Uh, in the finish, I absolutely get, like, a bit of spice to it. Um, I get a bit of, like, mint from the uh, from the hopping. Real nice uh, mouthfeel on it. It is, it is very rich. Got a little bit of um, carbonic bite to it in, in the opening. Definitely a bit of, like, um, banana bread almost in that, that, that malt character. It is, yeah. It it's it's got like a <clears throat> it's got like a nice kind of like dark rye bread flavor to it, you know. Almost like you want to put some butter in it or something. <sighs> I just took a nice big sip of it. I even get like a little bit of uh, a little bit of alcohol, um, boozy character, you know. It's nice. It's got a really nice balance between a, a bit of hopping and. That nice, like, richer rye and toasty, dark bread notes. I think, honestly, like, if, if, 
if I had made this beer, I would be pretty satisfied with it. I honestly don't see myself going and buying like a six pack of this beer. Uh, not because it's very bad or anything, but it's just, I feel like it's kind of like riding, it's kind of like riding the edges of a couple different styles. Because it's it's almost like, it's almost like an American brown and it's kind of like malt characters but then it's not and it's definitely not light enough to be a pale because it's very rich it's got some nice hopping to it but it's definitely not an ipa so i i I feel like it's it's like it kind of doesn't know what it is yeah i feel like it kind of just doesn't know what it is which you know honestly judging by the bjcp stock guidelines like can you blame them you know like basically an american rise is a beer that you just made a beer and decided to throw a little bit of rye into it, so I don't know how I like that. I mean, that said, even in like the 2008 style guidelines, like this this beer wouldn't fit in it at all. Um, but again, I'm I'm not saying it's a bad beer. I think I think it's actually a very good beer. Uh, but it's just like it's not doing what I think it's I don't know, trying to do, or maybe maybe it is doing what it's trying to do, but it's just not like matching up with what my mind thinks it's supposed to be, like you know. I mean, I think it's it's definitely like tasty, uh, and I, I I'm going to look forward to short fuse, um, you know what 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 they're going to be doing in the future. Uh, in fact, my birthday's coming up, and I'm probably going to go over by them because that's going to be nearby where I'll be. I definitely am looking forward to more beer from short fuse, and I I absolutely want to encourage you to go try some of their beer. Because if, if this is any representation of the beer that they're making there, I think that they're going to be producing some very good stuff. And so uh, so that's it for Jay's Beer Reviews. I just uh, tried this uh, Rye Bob from Short Fuse Brewing. I thought it was pretty good. I think you should try it for yourself. Uh, and like I said, I really do look forward to the beers that will be coming from Short Fuse. And so if, if you're around, go check them out over in Schiller Park. They're right off River Road, which I know intimately. So check them out check them out on on facebook and, and on twitter and on their website and whatnot and i will be keeping tabs on them because i like to know uh, how they're doing so for jay's beer reviews thank you for joining me this time and i'll see you guys next time thanks